Hi everyone, Jojo here from Joyroot Jojo. This is the 16th video in our Intune tutorial series. So far, we have covered the basics of Intune in a consecutive order, from automatic enrollment to app deployment in previous video. By following along, you should have a good understanding of what Intune offers. I encourage you to create a free trial account in Intune and explore the options we have learned about so far. All right, let's move on. Today's video discuss about bring your own devices, BYOD, bring your own devices, which means using your personal devices for work purposes. This could be your laptop, Android phone or iOS devices. We will cover how to enroll and manage these devices. The easiest way to enroll personal devices into Intune is through Company Portal app. So let's explore how to install and configure Company Portal app in your Android and iOS devices. Additionally, we will learn how to deploy store apps to Android and iOS devices. But before that, let's understand what is Company Portal is. So what is Intune Company Portal? As a definition, we can say it as Intune Company Portal is an app developed by Microsoft that allows employees to securely access their company's resources on their personal devices. So in your mobile phone, your, your own personal device, personal mobile phone, you want to access your company resources like the uh, customized applications or uh, your uh, OneDrive or any other uh, company resources you want to access it. You can install Company Portal on your um, mobile phone and you can configure it when you configure it it get enrolled with intune and you can access your company resources through company portal so company portal is the official app that enables employees to securely access corporate resources now let's see what intune company portal does what are the benefits of installing company portal the first benefit is that provide access to company resources as mentioned just now this include work email, internal apps, and cloud storage like OneDrive for business and all that stuff. So you can access all those company resources through company portal. Then the second advantage is that simplify device enrollment. Employees can use the app to enroll their devices like phone, tablets, laptops in the company's mobile device management system, which is nothing but Intune. So through company portal, you can enroll your devices to into. This ensures the device meet the security standard before accessing work data. So they verify all the security standards before accessing the work data. And the third advantage is that manage work apps. User can browse and install company approved application through company portal, which means through Intune, I'm pushing some applications uh, I'm approving some application that can be installed on your machine. So you can uh, go to company portal and install because this is an approved application from the Intune administrator. And you can just install it and you start using that. And boost security, that is the fourth advantage of using company portal. This app can remotely wipe and lost, wipe a lost or stolen devices to protect sensitive company information. It may also enforce PIN or password requirement on the device. So I think it doesn't require much explanation on that. So it is something like it boosts security. So installing company portal, you can, if you are using Android phone, go to Play Store and search for the Intune company portal and install it. Um, if you are using the iOS, go to App Store and install, uh, search for Intune company portal and uh, install it. It's as simple as that. Now comes how you can enroll the device, how you can configure the company portal. So enroll the devices. First thing, open the company portal app, sign in with your work or school account. You will have a uh, cloud account. You will have a your organization cloud account. Log into your company portal with that account. If from if prompted to review notification permission for the company portal, you just do that. You can adjust notification permission anytime in the settings app. Then you are prompted to accept your organization terms and condition. Click on accept all. See, uh, the issue is that I cannot show it in my uh, and my mobile device because I, I don't have a screen recorder, any application I have not installed on my um, 
personal device. So that is the reason why I am showing the step by step the available document in the public domain. So you can easily follow this uh, to enroll the device. So once if you enroll that device, what happens? A, a personal container will be created on your Android device, and all the application that has been pushed from the Intune will be will be displayed there. Okay, and we'll go back to this. Maybe your organization can and cannot see. You should understand what uh, organization can see and cannot see. Then we ask the users to install company portal. They will be a bit scared to uh, will be scared because they think that uh, their personal device data will be seen by the Intune administrator. The company can never see all and web history. You know, your call and web history cannot be seen by your Intune administrator or anybody from your organization your location email and text messages no not your email or text message cannot be seen by the intune administrator contacts passwords calendar camera roll so all these item cannot be seen by the intune administrator but the intune administrator can see your model number of your device serial number operating system app names owner device name manufacturer phone number of corporate devices so all these details can be seen by the Intune administrator but not your call history or your web history location emails such things cannot be seen by the by your organization so if you move down see i can keep the link uh, in the description so you can just follow it to configure the company portal in your uh, mobile device in your android or ios device so steps are similar both in the android and uh, the ios devices and anybody can do this this is not uh, a big task just click next next and it will get installed and configured as i mentioned once this company portal installed and configured properly what happens uh, from the intune admin center the device will be listed here it will be enrolled the device will be controlled in the intune admin center and Intune Administrator can view your device here. If you are uh, uh, control your Android devices, the Android device will be listed here. If it is an any iOS or iPad OS device, then it comes uh, under uh, this menu. For the user, a separate container, as I mentioned earlier, a separate container will be created in your mobile device. And inside that container, and it may be named as work profile, and inside that work profile, all the application that is pushed from the Intune will be visible there. Now let us see how we can deploy store apps to your Windows, Android and iOS devices. As you have installed company portal on your mobile devices, uh, once the store app deployed from the Intune admin center, it will be get displayed on the company portal. Certain apps will be approved status. You can uh, go there and install it. And start using that. Let's see how we can deploy store apps from uh, Intune Admin Center. For that, you have to click on Apps, click on All App. You could see the application that I have already deployed from the Intune Admin Center. Now, to add a new store, to deploy a new application, I have to click on Add button here and select the platform. In our case, first we will uh, send to Microsoft uh, our laptops. From the Microsoft Store app, select. Here we have to search for the Microsoft Store apps. Now we will search, we will push Adobe Reader. Yeah, Adobe Acrobat Reader. I select that. So all the uh, details are taken automatically. Click on Next and assign to the particular designated group members in my case i am allocating to add all user and uh, all devices click on next review and create it so you can in this way you can uh, very easily uh, you can deploy the store apps to windows devices now let's see how we can do this this to um, ios devices for that again go back to the all apps click on add button select ios store app select click on click on select and again search for the same thing search for the app I'm searching for adobe reader yeah you could see adobe acrobat reader here and pdf reader so i select the first one and select it details are taken automatically from the store 
click next assign to a particular group when it comes to android it is bit it is a bit different it is again uh, we'll see that to do that again go back to apps click on all apps click add and manage the google play app manage google play app click on that select it and let's select adobe acrobat reader click on select and click on sync so that will be listed here so in the into intune company portal it will be displayed as approved app so we can install it there so that's an overall about how we can deploy uh, store apps to all the different platforms in the next session we will learn how we can protect the application that is pushed to the mobile devices so that we can see in the next video till then goodbye